Hello, everybody. What's up? Um, I don't you no normally do that much videos here in my room, but right now it's night. I just washed my hair. That's why my hair's so wet. But yes, today, um, there's there's three stories that happened in my life that I just really want to express to you. Just tell you they happened in the last couple of days too, when I was still eight years old. And I just want to tell you them. So yeah. So the first story is the one that happened the latest. So so one day I went to my friend Camby's house. My I have a friend named Camby, and yeah, she was my best friend last year too. Technic, so she was my friend for two years. Technically three. But yeah, I was sleeping over at her house, and uh, and um, we were just t t talking about scary stories because we like scary stories. They're really fun to say. So yeah, we were telling scary stories mostly about monsters. Then Canby said that her house is haunted and they're coming for me. And as you know, that was actually very scary because. That was ve that was scary because like I didn't want them to come for me, but they never came for me because I slept over at Camby's house before and I had a play date there. She had a play date at my house and a sleepover at my house. But then when I went, I was really scared. I was freaking out, and yeah. Then we were just talking about it more. We were sorry that was my dog Betty, and we were just like talking. Well, no, we weren't actually talking. We were actually getting putting notes to each other. We can we got paper and we were getting note putting notes to each other. And she kept saying, and I kept saying, "Is your house really haunted?" And she kept saying, "I don't know." So yeah, I was really freaked out because I thought that was a joke. But then it, I don't know, but yeah, then we were. Finally, talking. We were writing for so long to each other. Then we ran out of paper, so we just decided to talk to each other. So yeah, and then we talked to each other, and she still didn't know if her house is haunted or not. But then I have this squishy. I was just squishing it. I was just squishing it. Um, when we were talking at Canby. For um the monster thing, and then I felt something on this pinky on this hand, and that was weird. So I looked at it, and then guess what I saw? There was um in purple on my pinky. There was two marks right there, and two marks right there in a line like that, all in purple on my pinky. And then I was like, "Oh my gosh, what is this?" And then, and then I tried to wash it off, but it didn't wash off with soap or water, with soap and water, and it didn't wash off with just alcohol either. We had to use alcohol and soap and water. And Camby's grandpa, he tricked me. He was like, "Oh, you got the PVGs. You need to tell your mom about that." And then I was, and then I was like, literally crying. This was so embarrassing, but I was crying so hard because I thought I was gonna die because of that mark. I thought that mark was like a dead signal, but yeah, it wasn't clearly because I'm still here. And yeah, so um. I washed it off. Then after that, Camby said, "Oh, well, that's a good mark, so that they won't haunt me." And I was like, "Like I wouldn't have washed it off if it was a good mark. Like why? But like, yeah, I didn't. So, yeah." And then we just continued the night like that. Oh, and I think that happened at about midnight. But oh, excuse me. <laughs> and now on to my second story. So um, I also have a I also have a friend named Isabella. Isabella for short. And yeah, I was at her house for my first play date with her. 
and that we were all having a fun time until we wanted to play. Let's see, we wanted to play like wrestling. It was Addison and Serafina were there too. They were, they were, they're my friends too. So all four was a, what, of us were on Isabel's bed. We were watching some TV because Isabel has a TV in her room. And we were playing, tried to knock someone off the bed. So I was like, oh, that'll be fun. Then we knocked and then we tried to knock each other off the bed. But, um, Isabella, um, with her feet, with her feet, she accidentally, like, did that with her feet, and I was right here, and she did like that, and she accidentally, we were watching TV, and she did that, and she pushed me off the bed by mistake, and I landed knee first, and look, I still have a bruise on my knee, look, see, right there. That's because I fell off the bed. It was also swollen too. Literally, that happened. It was actually really funny, but it did hurt a lot. Hopefully, that news is better. And now, my final story. So, one day I was wait. It happened on Tuesday. On Tuesday, wait, no, not Tuesday. On Monday. On Monday, I was um. At gymnastics, and yeah, I was having a good time. We had to do um strength at the beginning. Strength is like to strengthen your muscles. So we were doing that, and I was doing a squat hold. You know the squat hold when you have to do this or this. Yeah, I was doing that for so long. Literally, they did not let me out. But yeah. I thought I was doing it correctly, but I guess I did. And then, this was actually embarrassing when I had, when I cried, but yeah. Then, during it, during the end, um, of the squat hold, I, I, um, literally, like, couldn't breathe. I could not feel me breathing. I was, like, gasping for air, like, <gasps> <gasps> I like couldn't get it anywhere, and everyone else was fine. So I was crying, and everyone saw me. And I ran up to the teacher, and I told her what happened. And and then she was like, "Just take deep breaths." And then I tried that. Then I had to get. Wa- then I got water, and then and yeah, she was like, "Show just show me a squat hold for like one second correctly, then you can get out." And I managed to skip that because I was like. And I was crying so hard too. I didn't want anyone to notice me, so I like wiped away my tears, but I was like crying in my heart. And yeah, then I got water and I calmed down, then it worked, and everyone was like, Oh my gosh, Kenley, what happened? Kenley, what happened? Kenley, what happened? Are you okay, Kenley? And they were all like that. They were like, oh my, oh my god. They were all like that. And yeah. Yeah. So, um, yes. So those are all my stories. Those are like very interesting stories. Okay. The lesson that you should learn is that, well, well, for me, I mostly cried in all of these and I, and I also had some pain in these, but no pain, no gain, like, right? Yeah, so, yeah, and my room's a little messy, as you can see, but yeah, that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click that subscribe button and like button, because my last video got over 5,000 views, and I need to get to 200 subscribers. I need to, so help me do that!